All right. What is going on, world? GTP here. Welcome back to another Project 48 video. Yeah, it's gonna be, a, it's, a, it's the first Project 48 update, life update video that I'm gonna be doing. I'm alive and well. I know I haven't posted in a while, in a while. so doing my thing. Yeah, one cool thing that, one cool update. I don't know if you guys have recognized in my videos that it used to be super bright in here. I finally put up these blinds on these two windows. And that was heavily crucial because um, today is supposed to be one of the hottest days in Sacramento. And so I figured, you know what, I have to look up to see how I put the, uh, put the blinds up. And surprisingly enough, it was fairly easy. Um, I don't have a drill, so everything I just did, I did have to screw it into the wall by hand. And that was, it wasn't difficult. Good thing I'm strong. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just glad that those are up. And now we do have some privacy, some blockage from the sun, because like when the sun is going down, like maybe like the last few hours of the day, this window right here, the sun just shines right through it and right onto the couch. So like while you're watching TV and stuff right there, you're getting like a sun full of face or a face full of sun. I digress, but I uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on in the life of GTP. You know, since I have been away, um, I have not just been away from YouTube, but also kind of um, Instagram. It's just been super crazy the past few months, the past month and a half, or the past month and a half. But we're slowly starting to get back into the groove of things. I haven't swung at all today yet, but I'm gonna set up the net stuff outside and I'm, I'm gonna spend some time swinging and stuff. So let me go ahead and set that up and when we get in the garage, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll just talk. We will just talk uh, before we head outside. Let's give Archie a few treats. Archie, sit. Good boy, Arch. Archie, sit. Pa. Thank you. How about this one? Sit. Thank you. Good boy, Archie. Ooh, let's straighten you guys out. I'm just gonna talk while I set up. So kind of like a kind of like a life update. The the reason why I haven't kind of been active on here or on Instagram, if you follow me on there, side note, if you don't, right here. Follow this right here. The reason I kind of haven't updated or posted anything on Instagram, I haven't done anything for YouTube, it's just because I've just been busy. Pretty much at the end of March, all the way through April, work just for some reason decided to uh, decided to go on overdrive. There was like one big report I was asked to do. It, I ended up just it just took up a lot of time and energy. There were a few days where I kind of worked through the night to get the report done and then you know there were changes there were you know edits there were questions and so i think it was just the nature of the report itself uh, it was just there's just a lot to it and then once i finally got that for the most part out of the way there was just another another project that came through and another project and you know meetings and all that so you know for most most of the days um i just didn't have the energy to like i was on the computer like all day and i had no i had no desire to be on the computer again you know to edit and so that's pretty much it nothing serious nothing big it's just work got busy um i just didn't want to be on the computer you know to edit like that was it now let me go get this net set up and uh yeah all right net is set up and i kind of want to show you guys one thing that i've been using a lot these past few weeks it is my garmin r10 um, i bought this last year i bought this last year between then and now i haven't really used it just never really had a chance to blah 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 and then just recently i, I, I had to start seeing some data just ball flight stuff just to know the balls that i'm hitting in the garage are actually doing something that i want them to do with the swing changes i was making for the most part they have been okay just not what i was expecting i don't know if it's me just setting this up incorrectly i'm just aligned wrong and whatnot or if it really is the type of shot shape that i'm hitting but i'm gonna get this set up and then we'll get to some swingage okay so i did so i do have a like a leveling stand for this because i do have a laser and so that just sets it up to where i'm pointing this down the the line of that laser and now it should be aligned 
So you can see there, pretty cool. And then I don't know if you can see the, the laser. It's coming through here. And then it's coming through like the center of that net. It should be pretty square. It should be pretty, pretty square. It is kind of warm in here. Let's get this set up. Get this connected to the Garmin app. I do prefer to use the Garmin app right now. Alrighty, tidy. So, Garmin set up. Gonna warm up with some, uh, with some rope swings. I do use um, an RCT ball. These Titleist RCT balls, the Pro V1 version. These are specifically created for radar based systems like the Garmin R10. And so these get read much better on, on, the, on these systems. So it accurate, more accurately displays ball, data, ball flight data. So I think mainly for indoor use, uh, these are the best. Indoor, um, these give you better spin numbers, so. But let's go, let's go swing some ropage. So one thing that I've kind of been working on lately, at least within the past few weeks, um, just trying to get a little longer. I mean, obviously you guys have seen, I do have a pretty short backswing, but there was a feel that I was told to try and do. And that's to try, or not, I was told, but there was a feel that I, uh, a swing tip that I caught online. And somebody was saying, feel like your left shoulder is getting behind the ball. And so, that's really kind of helped me a little bit, but as far as, as far as like my actual swing, you know, employing it into an actual swing, it, um, it hasn't really shown its face yet. So, um, but anyways, gonna be swinging some six. Let's see what we can get going. Also, I think I might have to start doing this bring his bed out um, so he can lay down right here. It's kind of sweet. Here it is, first swing of the day. Nope. On oh, my toes. Bad, I mean, not great, but not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, because I'm right now the way it's looking like. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm here and then I'm coming across here. So I'm opening up a little too early at the top. Ah, thin. Well, I felt money. There's a nice little draw. And be better. All right, cool. So that was actually a pretty decent swing. So I guess uh, with that being said, let's talk about the state of my golf game the past month and a half. So like I said earlier, um, you know, like I just didn't have en enough energy. Like I, I just felt a little bit like physically drained and whatnot. Um, I don't, you know, it's kind of crazy because I don't know. I don't know why. Like I, it affected me so much like that. There were days where I. You know, I, I just couldn't get myself to practice just because I I'd be so like exhausted. Um, yeah, so there were there were like a few weeks where I didn't practice, and then there were some days where I kind of just had to force myself to actually, you know, do it and stuff. But the state of my golf game kind of has been feeling a little wonky since then. Um, I did have I did play around um, like with my cousins and my family and stuff few Saturdays ago. You know, actually for the most part, that round felt well. I just, off the tee, I, I lost a lot of strokes and then we were getting rushed by the marshal, for, you know, for no reason. He was saying we were playing slow, but but the marshal started like tailing along. And then when I feel, when I feel like I'm getting rushed on the course, everything kind of just goes to shit. I stop caring, start hitting the ball. And then I'm just like, whatever, just go, just get it out the way. Cause they want to speed up so bad. But we were not playing slow. It's just, I would say that the group in front of us, uh, they were playing rather fast. And so that kind of made us look like we were playing slow. Cause 
whatever. So that kind of made me like, that kind of made me a little anxious on the course and felt rushed and all that. And so that was on the front nine, but then on the back, it felt like I was, um, and I kind of got my groove back. Yeah, just the swing has been kind of fin been feeling off. I, I did have a project with Hagen Oaks this past Saturday and it was like we were shooting a video for them um, on the course and for some reason my swing was just not there like even for the comfortable like wet shots that I have I could not hit the ball for the life of me and it's it's just embarrassing because you know and so that's the state of my golf game it's an absolute shambles right now Re really a struggle bus right now that being said I was just uh, texting with a coach that I took that I got in touch with back in February. Um, and so we're setting something up for Friday. So he said in our previous conversations that I could record it, post it to social media. And so I'm definitely gonna post it, share it with you guys on here and on my Instagram. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. But I can't wait, you know, I think it's time for me to actually get, you know, a professional set of eyes at, to give me some drills, some actual drills to work on. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong and t um, tell me how to fix it. So I'm pretty excited for that. Let's see if we can get another draw with this uh, six iron here. Carry distance 160 yards. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I was gonna swing some more and then we'll just call it after this. And yeah, it's hot in here and the uh, camera's getting hot. So we'll talk in a bit. Okay, so I have to reshoot this because my mic was off. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to say that's it. That's pretty much it for this update video. I kind of just wanted to give a little life update as to why I haven't been active on social media, on YouTube and Instagram um, for pretty much almost two months. Um, but yeah, and also just to kind of show that my golf game is in shambles and that I think it's finally time that I got lessons. Um, like I said earlier, I did reach out to a PGA uh, PJ Pro at a golf course nearby. So that I had spoken to earlier this year. And so we set something up for this Friday to, uh, to get some lessons. So I'll definitely be sharing that again. Stay tuned for it. Uh, the next video after this will be those uh, will be the lesson video. Yep. Um, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate everyone who subscribes, who follows my Instagram, who comments on all the platforms and whatnot, and who have reached out, um, yeah, who always lets like comment when I positive or negative, I don't care. Um, and then if you made it this far in the video, comment, uh, comment lessons. Yep, again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everyone. And uh, remember, get 1% better every single day, baby. Let's go. Peace.